Good day everybody, it's just Jake here, and as always, welcome back to the channel. So, it's a beautiful spring day, I'm out at the uh, infamous Wobble City Crossroads, and I've got my trusty RSD RS291 with me, and I'm going to go for a gravel ride. And uh, I thought I'd just bring you guys along with me, so uh, yeah, sit back, relax, enjoy, and let's just get ready to do it. Yahoo! Okay, let's go do this. <clears throat> Road conditions are nice today. Uh, a little bit of mud, but nothing too bad. Uh, looks like they just freshly plowed the rows out here a little while ago, so they're smooth in some spots, but not so smooth in others. just in case there's some traffic. Lots of fresh piles of bear turd all over the road. So, something to be aware of, they're out and about. But, they're black bears. They're big old chickens. They're not really interested in interacting with people. Smooth as. So, we're gonna bust the left right here, jump off this main line and get onto a secondary line then get up into the hills and go explore some uh, less traveled gravel roads. And so, the climbing begins. You can't very well have a gravel ride without some climbing in it. I think there's rules about that. I don't know. I'm just a dirtbag mountain biker who likes to moonlight gravel riding every once in a while. <laughs> Hell, I'm probably not even on the right bike. I don't know. There's so many rules these days. I'm a firm believer in run what you brung. And uh, my weapon of choice is the hardtail mountain bike. Whew. All right, so normally I stick to this route right here, Rupert 440. But today we're going on a little bit of an exploratory mission off to the left here because I believe that I can link this up with uh, an existing route that I already have and create uh, another loop, which would be nice. Didn't switch gears.
Oh man, it sure feels good to be out on the bike. The last five months I've I've been getting out on the bike, but not nearly as much as I would like. Uh, I've just been locked behind a computer screen for the last five, five, six months uh, doing schooling, so eight hours a day, five days a week. So it doesn't leave a lot of room for uh, extracurricular activities with homework and studying and whatnot, but that section of the program is now done, so yay, I actually have a bit of a reading break right now. And, uh, Decided to take full advantage today and get out on the bike, and it feels good. I'm, uh, I'm surprised how well I feel for how little I've been out on the bike in the last little while. It's a good sign. I like it. I could have made it easier on myself and just switch gears, but things must be hard in order to be fun. <laughs> All right, looks like we've got a substantial climb in front of us here. That's no problem. We got this. It wasn't pretty, but I got her. Still climbing, but it was worth it. <laughs> I'm sure it will be. Almost to the top. Alright everybody, so I'm at the top of the climb that I was on. Um, I didn't actually find the connection to the uh, other route that I was looking for. Um, it's actually way over there that I'm trying to get to. but. There's no connection, but what I did find is this amazing view at the top of this climb. Um, I actually rode from that body of water way out there. And I came all the way up here, all through all of that. Um, just up here having a bit of a break. There's my bike way down there. And uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this beautiful view on this uh, wonderful spring day on uh, Vancouver Island. This is what it's all about. Yoo-hoo! So, even though I didn't find the root connector I was looking for, which is kind of disappointing because I'm not a big fan of doing out and backs, I prefer to do loops when I'm out for gravel rides, uh, 
the side bonus is is that I get to do this awesome downhill that I climbed all the way up here to do so uh yeah it's pretty much downhill all the way back to Wobble City let's uh let's go Yahoo! That was fun. Nothing like a good old fashioned cut block hill bomb. Would have been able to go a little faster if that wind wasn't so sketchy up there, but whatever. Back on the main line. Should be back at Wobble City in a few minutes. Almost there. Alright everybody, so I'm back at the infamous Wobble City uh, crossroads, right where I started. Um, that was a lot of fun. A little disappointing that I couldn't find that connection to the other route, but uh, out and back is still just as much fun, especially with a fun hill bomb like that at the end, and downhill all the way back to Wobble City. So uh, yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. 
Um, it'd be really awesome if you guys hit all those important buttons to appease the almighty algorithm and it keeps you guys in the loop. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more gravel rides, uh, let me know. And uh, until next time, I'll check you later.